Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Alex Fu, and who could this guy be lounging on this stake? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like he's almost laying on a stake. The snow, it blocks the zzz. He doesn't seem to hear you. Wake him with the megaphone? Let's wake him up. Oh, oh, what? Who? This won't do. I slept clean through winter. Now I can't get to the summit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, bother. I'll go back home to Malon. I'll take that megaphone if you don't need it. Have a mushroom instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll make him manic depressive. Um, yeah, our megaphone turned into a mushroom, and it smells weird. And he just stole some of our Pegasus seeds. But anyway, back in here, we got a ring! So yeah, that uh, that last episode where, where I was talking about how we haven't gotten a ring in a, in a long time, I totally was anticipating that. I totally remembered that. Believe me. Believe it! I'll be the next Hokage! Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> I don't even know what happened to that show. My, my brother was a fan of it for a while, but then he just stopped watching it all of a sudden. I just don't know what happened to that, because... I mean, I told you guys all about how I went to Otakon and everything. There were, like, no Naruto cosplayers there, which was really surprising to me, because mo most conventions you'd expect to see, like, 8 billion cosplayers around. It may just be a rumor, but they say there's a giant up in the mountains. He sounds scary, but I want to meet him. Okay. Your choice. If Mabel were here, I'd send her to Mount Coco for mushrooms. But since she hasn't come back... Damn teenagers skateboarding on my lawn, turning up their loud rock musics. I can't make my magic potion. Sniff, sniff. That scent. Yeah, y'all, y'all got a mushroom. Y'all have got, y'all have got to learn a little discipline. <laughs> I'll trade my wooden bird. How about it? Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it. no way. <laughs> Can someone give me a mushroom? Maybe I just wanted to see. Yeah, I've got a mushroom! <laughs> That's the funniest thing in this game. How about it? Okay. So we get a wooden bird. <laughs> I can finally make my magic potion. Guess I'll open up the shop soon. This actually becomes quite important, because now we can buy magic potions from her. I am the great witch seal up in this my potion shop. Bring me what you want. And this will basically restore our... I think it's all our health. It might only be six hearts, like the fairies, but I'm pretty sure it's all our health. And again, I don't actually have to go into the... ...menu. Because we're going to Horon Village for the next part of this trading quest. Might as well, like I said, might as well get as much out of it as we can. Oh yeah, you can also use the rod to... ...take the seeds off... ...the trees. Do come in! Welcome to Vasu Jewelers! What can I do? A phrase, of course. Which one? It's 20 rupees. Hmm. Subrosion ring. Ah! Oh, I love this ring. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys what this ring does because it's absolutely one of my favorite rings. There are, I think, five rings in this entire game that do the same type of thing. Alright, toss out green joy. No, toss out green joy ring because I don't care about it that much. And toss it. Go through. Come on. Subrosion ring! Yes, yes, yes. Now you're gonna see that it said in the description, become a Sorosian. You wanna know why? Oh my god! We're Sorosian! Well, we're Sorosian unless we're going through doors. Because it switches us back quickly, but. Yeah, we can't actually do anything as a Sorosian either. It's not just an aesthetic thing. It actually completely keeps us from doing anything in the game, like talking to people or anything. Oh well. <laughs> I still think it's one of the coolest rings in the game just because... It's amazing! My baby never sleeps. <laughs> Alex, how can I get him to sleep? Hmm, you could sing a song or you could play with him. Now... I'm trying to remember which one does which. I think if you 
you sing a song, it'll turn him into a more... Well, it'll... Well, yeah. If you sing a song, it'll turn, turn him into a more calm adult. Like, he's more like... He's gonna probably be the scholar or the rich kid. Uh, if you play with him, he's more likely to be the mercenary or the soldier, so... Well, he's going to be the mercenary or the soldier. Um... Or the lays about. I'm gonna say, actually, sing a song. Because play with him just seems a bad thing to do, trying to get a baby to go sleep, so... I like to, I like to sing. I'll try. It's apple bucking season. <laughs> My boy is well, so I can rest. Today I have more to teach. I've heard that a nut's contents depend on the actions of the planter. The more he travels and the more beasts he slays, the better his nut will do. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons I haven't gone back and gotten some of the gash of seeds that we've planted yet. Because I just want to wait for them to... I have a member's card. That stuff is mind-boggling. I bet it is. Yeah, we get a member's card. Come on, you've seen us before. Do they have anything new that's mind-boggling? No, just gash of seeds. Who needs those? Not us. Yeah, actually, um, one of the things I usually like to do is just take the gash of seed from, um... What is his name? Mayor Rook? And just plant it at the beginning of the game and then come back at the end of the game to see what it's turned into. It usually turns into a ring, which are usually almost always random. Alright, now here's where we need to bring the wooden bird to. We need to bring it to the clockmaker. Hmm, I want to... Hmm, let's see, what voice should we give him? Hmm, I want to make a wooden... a cuckoo clock better than any before, but I can't find a wooden bird that I like. Oh! That's just... that one... one that's just breathtaking. <gasps> Yo! That's an amazing bird you'll have! May I have? May I have it? <laughs> Breathtaking! Yes, take this! And we got engine grease. I don't know why I made him, like, half between, like, Danish and Scottish. Everyone loves fiddling with engines. With engines. Um, now, before we leave, I'm actually gonna show you a little thing that Crinkson told me. I think it was Crinkson. If it's not, shout at me in the comments and I'll, I'll change it. Um has been shouting at me for the last ten episodes or something to show. Um, no, not there. There it is. Okay. It's off-center. Basically, there's a hidden stairway behind the, uh, Cuckoo. I am Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, guys. House. And, well, as you can see, there's nothing in here. This only actually turns into something in the Link game. And... Oh, I cannot remember. I think it turned... <sighs> I can't remember, because I've actually never done the Link game before. That's one of the reasons I was thinking of doing Oracle of Ages at some point after this, too. Because that'd just be fun, because I've never actually fought... I've never done the Link game, which is pretty much the same as the regular game, except you can get one more heart, and... Or no, two more hearts. And you fight Twin Rofa at the end, like you did in, um... What's it called? In ah uh, da 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 da. Ocarina of Time. Wow. Anyway. Anyway, let's get going, because I don't think Russian guy there has anything to say to us. So we have only to go up here. In the wrong way, I think. Actually, wait. Okay, here we go. Now, if you remember, there was the... Ingo's troop guy up here, I can never remember his name. The windmill guy. Who was hoping that he could get the windmill to go faster. So we have the engine piece for him. Do, 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 do. Go around, go around. If I could just oil it, it would go around more quickly. And degrees, will it make it go quickly? Sure it will, guy. Really take my phonograph. You trade in your oil grease for a phonograph. What a tune. And now it's gone crazy. And he just has another random phonograph, of course. Go around, go around. Is it going too fast? I think that I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> and stop doing that and stop assaulting your ears with that horrible singing. 
Alright, so next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, I am going to show you guys the last gem to get into the Tarm Ruins, and then we'll head on our way to the Tarm Ruins. Because honestly, I can't remember what to do with the phonograph at this point. Don't worry, it'll come to me at some point, um, especially as we go on through the game. We're actually about halfway through, I think. So. Well, no, I think we're more than halfway through, but... Again, that's why I said about. Anyway, we are... Should I go for the nut? Should I go for the nut? You know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm going for the nut. Let's see what we got. And we got a ring! Cool, we'll get it appraised later. Um, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio Fu. And... Next time we'll see what that ring is, and we'll finish up the- we'll go to the Tarm Ruins. So I'll see you guys next time. Again, take it easy.